Let's look at an example of a matched pairs t-test. We're going to revisit that Walmart versus Target health and beauty question that we talked about a little bit earlier. So is there a difference in the pricing at Walmart versus Target for health and beauty supplies? To answer this question, a student randomly selected 10 identical products at each store and recorded the price. Determine if there is a price difference between Walmart and Target for health and beauty supplies. Use alpha equal to 0 0.05, so a 5% significance level, and the order of subtraction here is Walmart minus Target. All right, so the thing we're being asked to do is we're going to test the mean difference in prices of health items at Walmart versus Target is not zero. So in other words, when we find the difference in the prices for each item, and we average that out, it's they're roughly going to come out to be about the same. So we have 10 items listed. You'll see I have the prices at Walmart and the prices at Target listed, and then the differences. So the differences is the column that we're actually interested in in a paired t-test. So you notice the little... Um, Horizontal line means there was no difference. They were the same cost. Some were less and some were more. So we had um, an average difference of prices of 12 cents, a standard deviation for the differences of 30 cents, and then our sample size was 10. So even though I have 20 pieces of data, they're paired up. So I really only have 10 distinct items, even though each item has two things recorded about it. So that would make my degrees of freedom here just n minus 1, so 9. So this one has a very nice and easy degrees of freedom formula here. All right, so our hypotheses, our null hypothesis is that the difference in prices is 0. The alternative is that the difference in prices is not 0. And then our assumptions and conditions. So again, we are only looking at that differences column. We're not looking at the Walmart and Target columns. So random sample was stated in the problem. Our sample size is 10, so not large enough for the central limit theorem, but I did take that column that's highlighted the differences, and I made a normal probability plot of just those differences. And so it's a little bumpy, but it's straight enough that we can mark normal, and then our sample standard deviation was calculated there at 30 cents. So because we have these two data values for each item that's on here, this is what's giving me that paired t-test. All right, so once you've done that, you can go to the data analysis package, and the paired t-test is towards the bottom of the list, and you just highlight the Walmart column and then the target column and say OK, and you'll get an output very similar to the one for the two sample. So it gave me a test statistic of negative 1.243, and I have a p-value of 24.5%, so definitely bigger than the 5%, so I do not reject. And so my statement here, I'm going to give you the statistical statement, and then I'm going to give you the layperson statement. So with a p-value of 0 0.245 at the 5% significance level, we do not have evidence the average or mean difference in pricing on health and beauty items at Walmart versus Target varies. So in other words, the average difference in prices was not statistically significant. So there were some little differences, but not big enough that it would rise to the level of statistical significance.